Now weather with meteorologist Beth Finello. So the National Weather Service is still out doing surveys. We added another tornado today. So now we are up to 13 confirmed tornadoes from Tuesday's event. The one that was just added is in Macomb, Missouri. It's an EF1 winds up to 105 miles per hour with a path length of about one and a half miles and a path width of about 75 yards. So we now have surpassed the 2006 major outbreak here in the Ozarks. We are now at 13 and the National Weather Service is still out doing surveys. So we could add a couple of more tornadoes to that. Right now we've got flash flood watches in effect for counties along and south of I-44 for our counties in Missouri. This does include Greene County. This lasts until 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. For our counties down in northern Arkansas, your flash flood watch less until 7 a.m. and that's because we have another round of showers and storms making their way through the Ozarks right now and we've got some heavier pockets some red some oranges and some yellows making its way through the Ozarks now with up to an inch of rainfall still expected we've already seen up to an inch to even an inch and a half of rainfall so far with these showers and storms which is why we have that flash flood watch. In effect, we've had flash flood warning in effect for parts of Barry, Lawrence, McDonald, and Newton County until 9.30 tonight. The rest of the Ozarks looking at some cloud coverage if they're not looking at rain. And of course, a couple things to remember, do not drive into the flooded roadways, do not walk, swim, or play in the floodwaters. Please turn around, don't drown. We've had a few water rescues this week. So again, just take, be careful, don't drive through the flooded road waters. We've got 61 degrees right now in Branson. It's raining, we've got wet roads, and we're looking at 64 here in Springfield, 67 in West Plains, and 62 up in Rolla. We've got this front really situated right across the state line, which is acting as a magnet for those rain showers. And we could see some severe weather, mainly in northern Arkansas, but otherwise, we're just looking at some heavier pockets of rain and again widespread flooding is the major severe threat that we will see today maybe some quarter size or pea sized hail and maybe some gusty winds up to 60 miles per hour here's your hour by hour forecast through the rest of the evening showers continue with those heavier pockets and through the overnight and again into tomorrow morning we'll have those showers lingering with the cloud coverage lingering as well temperatures will bottom out into the middle and upper 50s tomorrow we'll keep the shower chances but I don't think a lot of I don't think everybody's going to see showers tonight and temperatures will top off in the middle and upper 60s once we get to see a little bit more sunshine in the afternoon and then by Sunday morning temperatures will drop into the upper 40s and lower 50s again we are still looking between half an inch and an inch of rainfall locally more depending on where those heavier pockets set up and we are not done we'll have a quiet weekend this weekend but we have another round a wave of stormy weather for much of next week going to be very unsettled much like we saw this past week and we'll see those rain chances uptick Tuesday Wednesday into Thursday and with the already saturated soils flooding is going to be a major concern into next week overnight tonight showers and storms temperatures drop into the middle and upper 50s tomorrow if you're wanting to go golfing I would probably wait until the afternoon hours we'll keep those showers lingering for the morning hours and then we'll get to see a little bit of sunshine by the afternoon Temperatures staying on the cool side in the middle and upper 60s will be quiet the day on Sunday with temperatures warming up into the 70s will be warm and breezy on Monday with maybe a shower and then we're in that very unsettled and stormy pattern for the middle of next week. Okay, it's just those spring storms hitting us hard.